The Golden State Warriors came back from a 22-point deficit in the first half to win by 20, and the highlight was a 34-12 third quarter run that saw the Dubs use the box and one defense on Lillard, while targeting Dame and the other Portland guards on their switching defense. Let's break down this run. I want to start off this video by looking at the formation of the Warriors defense in the third quarter. The box and one is a common high school basketball tactic where the defense focuses primarily on the one main offensive weapon and letting the other four make plays against a typical 2-2 zone defense. Dante DiVincenzo's job was to stay in denial position, preventing a pass to Lillard and letting Portland run their offense through mediocre shot and playmakers against a 2-2 zone. This game plan led to multiple bad shots, and here Reddish goes out of control against a straight up Draymond Green, eventually forcing a jump pass through traffic to Eubanks. This ends up being a turnover and a fast break for a quick and easy two points on the other end. After Dame was called for a reach in foul to get his fourth, Portland tried to challenge it but was unsuccessful and still left him in because they needed his offensive production. The Golden State game plan then was to target Lillard on defense every possession, and here Dante comes for the pick knowing that the Blazers are switching on ball screens. Poole instantly attacks, using a couple hezzies to go baseline, and Dame has his hands up to avoid contact, but JP gets a tough layup to go. Often in Mounds play, we know that Portland is switching pretty much all off-ball screens involving guards. And here you can see Dame is attached to Dante, Shane Sharp on Poole, and Thibault on Clay. Both Clay and Dante back up to the hoop, and you get a switch with Wofford onto Dante and Dame onto Looney. However, Shane Sharp falls asleep as all eyes are on the inbounder and the cutting two Warriors, and Dame did not see a second screen from Looney. This should have been an off-ball switch easy, but Sharp ends up trailing a wide-open Jordan Poole for a knockdown triple. Even with Lillard in the game, Golden State wanted to keep targeting him on defense to try to get another foul call. Lamb comes to get a much better defender off of Thompson, and we get the ideal switch. Dame really does not want to foul and has his arm straight up, so Clay simply goes to work for a baseline mid-range jumper. I did a video a while ago on the previous Blazers game and how the Warriors specifically wanted to target Shaden Sharp on defense. The rookie guard has a bright future and threw a slam on Draymond last night, but he needs heavy work on the defensive end. Here's a simple pin down screen by Sharp to free up Clay, and it takes Sharp a good half second to realize what is happening, and by the time he gets stuck on the screen, Jerome fires a pass right into the shooting pocket of Clay Thompson for another uncontested three and the lead. Here's another miscommunication by the Blazers' guards. We have Watford picking up Kaminga and Sharp on Clay, and remember Portland wanted to switch all on ball screens as well. Clay pretends to get a handoff, and this should have been an easy switch by the Portland players, but because I think this wasn't an official screen, Sharp thought they were going to play straight up while Wofford expected a switch. JK essentially uses Sharp as a screener to get an easy dunk. Let's keep targeting Shea and Sharp. Kaminga comes for the down screen and the Warriors are expecting the off-ball switch. The counter to the off-ball switch off a down screen is for the shooter to not come up so high on the wing and instead stop in his tracks, opening just wide enough of a gap between the two defenders. Credit Draymond for making a well-timed pass for another Thompson 3 on the right wing. This time, let's look at what happens when Golden State predicts the switch and this time we will find the screener instead of the shooter. Jerome brings the ball up and look at the strong side for a Draymond pin down screen on Thompson. Another predicted switch by the Blazers' guards, but Draymond knows exactly that this is coming and instead counters by slipping right into the rim, where Jerome makes a sweet bounce pass for the layup, way to use Clay as a decoy to counter the switching defense. There you guys have it. The Warriors exploded in the vintage third quarter performance and end up winning the game by 20, but the tipping point was when Steve Kerr transitioned to a box and one defense and letting inferior players other than Damian Lillard to try to make plays. On the offensive end, Golden State did an amazing job targeting the defensive lacking Portland guards by both engaging in mismatches and successfully predicting off-ball switches to move the ball and create open three balls or layups. Crazy how out of nowhere, Golden State is now back in the fifth seat so let's see if they can continue this momentum against the Clippers. If you guys like this breakdown, like and subscribe to see more.